Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from The Laws of Attraction in Action and you can find me at thelawsofattractioninaction.com. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a choice expert amongst other things. So what I want to talk, talk to you about today in regard to the laws of attraction, and I know that I've spoken about this before, I know I have, but I feel very compelled to speak about it today again. So what I want to talk to you about guys is simply this, it's paramount paramount hey Lise how you doing sweetheart good morning it's paramount that as you go through life that you recognize that things that happen in your life are happening for you it's not happening to you now I'm not gonna sit here and say to you you know like oh you everything you, you've got to you've just got to realize hey sweetheart my niece is on the line hi Lashanda uh, I'm not going to sit here and say to you that, you you know, like you, you've got to, you know, be hard and woman up or man up and suck it up. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying to you is that everything that is happening in your life is happening for you. It's happening for a reason. Things just don't happen out of the blue. Things don't just happen arbitrarily to you. Things don't happen as a random act. There's no such thing. Everything that occurs in your life is occurring for you and occurring for your higher good. Now, what happens is when whatever happens to you, whatever is coming down the pipe, what's ever hit you, whatever has knocked you to your knees, whatever has knocked you to your knees, good morning to you, Lise, um, whatever has knocked you to your knees, it's what you do with that information that counts. Understand that in the word it says, and I'm going to paraphrase, it, it, it literally says that everything that has come to being, has come to being through God, by God for you, even, even the people, even the people who create trouble, even the people who create wickedness in your life, they have created it for a reason. And you see, it is for you to decipher that reason. Your life is all about choices, guys. And understanding that when you recognize that life is happening for you and not to you, it will definitely, um, it will definitely empower you. And that's what you want, empowerment, so you can make your choices, empowerment, so that you can live your life, empowerment, so each one can reach one, so you can teach one. You see, guys, we are here for a reason. We're not here just to suck up air and take up space. Each and every one of us has a purpose, a God-given purpose. And some of us are meant to be in, in the spotlight. And some of us are meant to be behind the scenes. Some of us are meant to go through life quietly doing what we do best. And others are meant to go making a noise. Everybody is here for a reason. Hey, Jeff, everybody is here for a reason. So, guys, the things that are unfolding in your life that you don't like, I'm going to say have your moment. Each week I say this to the ladies at Shade Tree, there are 1,440 minutes in a day. Take 10 of those to feel bad about what happened. Take 15 of those to feel bad. Take 40 of those to feel bad. But then you still have another 1,400 minutes in a day to create the life that you want to live, looking at what has happened to you in regard of, okay, what is this truly teaching me? What is this truly teaching me? What is this situation gifting me with? And then how can I use it? I'm sorry, wrong phrase. What does it look like to utilize this? What does it look like to utilize this? And Lisa says, for real, um, that's right, you have a purpose. When you wake up every day and God has not called your number, it is not time. The, the other thing, that being said, hear me clearly, guys. Nobody, absolutely nobody 
can take your life. And that's written in the word. Can take your life. Lest you give it. And it's your time. It's your appointed time. So guys, rolling that into. There is nothing that is happening to you. That is happening to you. It's happening for you. The name of the game is. After you have your um, your emotional outpouring, and when you have your emotional outpouring, you know, if you're angry, if you're pissed, if you're that, blah, blah, blah. When you have that outpouring, once you do that and you settle down because your emotional outpouring is speaking to you. Hey, guys, everything that happens to you is the living spirit within you that is speaking to you. Speaking for you in some cases because you're not speaking for yourself. So when you've had that emotional outpouring, guys, you've really had that. Now's the time that you do your work. You see, not not to get too much on a on a on a, a religious or spiritual track, if you will. But I'm going to say this: many people don't know the work that they're here to do. And I've heard many people say that they are here to glorify and magnify God. And I can get behind that. But to glorify and magnify God is to do your work. And what is your work? To live to your highest potential. To live to your highest potential. What are you doing to live to your highest potential? And I'm not talking about the, the daily nine to five grind. I'm not talking about doing that. What are you doing? You see, when you live, when you live from a joy, doing what you do, like Jeffrey, Jeffrey writes. I know my man, Jeffrey, he's an author. Now, Jeffrey could be doing the nine to five grind. And I'm not knocking that, guys. Let, let me just say this. I'm just making a point. Uh, you know, <clears throat> When you are living your joy, when you are truly living your joy and the thing that it is that you want to do, you will be living your highest potential. And that doesn't matter. You could be the greatest brain surgeon, rocket science to the guy who actually or the woman who maintains the earth. You see, everybody has a purpose. Everybody has a purpose. And unto that purpose comes you being able to magnify and glorify that known to me as God, the universal creator, whomever your chosen deity is. All right. I'm up behind. I'm equal opportunity. Whatever you call that, which is greater than self, but yet within self housed within the temple. I'm behind it. That being said, before I get off on a tangent, which is really easy for me to do. So that being said, guys, this is truly about recognizing that what's happened and what is happening in your life is happening for you. When you take it and you look at it and you say, okay, this has happened for me. I'm not saying that you have to like it. I'm not saying you have to like it and, you know, get all unicorn rainbows and the fuzzies. I'm not saying that. Because some of that stuff, it really hurts. Some of that stuff makes you mad. Some of it makes you sad. But what I'm saying is once you get past that emotion... And you need to get past it. Sometimes you have to actively work to get past it. Once you get past it, you ask, okay, what is this showing me? And nine times out of ten, if you don't ask that question and you keep going on, bit, 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 you keep going on in your usual fashion, the same stuff is going to repeat itself in your life in different ways. You will meet that person as your boss. You will meet that person as a, a friend. And it could be a friend that you've known for a long time. And they kind of do this thing like, oh, what did they morph into? But you see, God will use people, places and things to deliver the message that you need so that you can recognize that things are happening for you so you can live to your highest potential. Guys, each and every one of us has an appointed time here. I don't know how many days that is. I don't know the number of the days that is for me. I don't know if you know for you, but I do know that everybody here has an appointed time. 
And in that space of time, it's all about you creating the, the, the protect, creating the life that you want to live that will, um, that, that will magnify your highest potential. You have the tools. Let, let, let me, let me, let me, that's why you have to change your mind to change. Come on, Lisa, preach on it, girl. There you go. You have to change your mind to change your circumstance. You see, you're not governed by your circumstance. Or should I say, your circumstance doesn't govern you. But you allow your circumstance to govern you. Your circumstance is here to show you what's going on in your life. To show you the things that you have done. Your circumstance doesn't come about without you being in the mix. And I, again, I am not um, condoning anything that has happened to anybody. You see, guys, your life is about choice. Anything that has happened in your life, you get to choose how you use it. You get to choose if you use it to influence you in a way that you want to be influenced. It is so easy when you've been through that bad relationship to let it bury you. It is so easy when you've had something wrong with your health just to want to give up and die. It's so easy to do so many of these things, guys. The name of the game is... How are you going to flip that script and use that information that you have, use that experience that you have to, mm, I'm going to say, to make you a better person for your betterment? You see, we're all connected, each and every one of us, and none of us live on an island, although sometimes it might be nice, but none of us live on an island. We're all connected. So what I do actually sends a ripple out that can impact you should you choose to be impacted. Life is all about choices, guys. You, whatever is happening in your life is happening for a reason. It's happening for you. It's not happening to you. So guys, once you get over that whole emotional thing, once you've gone through it, don't let it be for nothing so you repeat it. Don't let it be for nothing so you repeat it. So once you've gone through it, guys, the name of the game is to ask yourself this question. What is this teaching me? What is it showing me? What can I learn? Hey, Carl. Oh, long time no see. Hey, Carl. Kiss Mark for me. Long time no see. Okay. Um, but you need to ask yourself those questions. It is so important, guys. Your life is happening for you. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. So hold on to that. Hold on to that. The next time something comes up, whether it be health, whether it be wealth, whether it be, whether it be health, whether it be wealth, whatever it is, once you get past the emotion, and sometimes, guys, the emotional, to get past the emotions, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I recognize that it can take, sometimes it can take, take years. Sometimes, really, it can take years which of course is more than 1,440 minutes in a day. But sometimes it can take years. But recognize if there are things that have happened in your life. Hey, my, ne my goddaughter. Hey, darlings. Um, recognize that if it has happened in your life and it truly has happened in your life, it's happened for a reason. And so if it's going on or it's something that keeps raising its head, something, you know, uh, from, from childhood or that happened in, in a teenage relationship or what have you, Now's the time to transmute that by saying, this happened for me. What was it showing me? This has happened for me. And again, I'm not saying it won't be painful and it hasn't been. But what I'm saying is by recognizing that your life is happening for you, and not to you, it puts you in a place of pure empowerment. Well, guys, my client's here. I saw him pull up. I heard him come through the door. So I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn, guys. Think about this. Think about this. Think about you. Think about your life. Think about what's happened in your life and flip the script on it. You flip the script. Flip it. Ask yourself, what is this showing me? Because sometimes the things that do happen to us that we don't like, it is for our highest good and it is pushing us in the direction that we need to go need to go. So love you, Heather. Love you guys. Um, kisses. Thanks for listening. Love you guys. 
take this information if it is something that you find useful if it is do your own due diligence not just because i say or anybody else says it makes it so it's what you think and how you use it that makes it so so everybody lease my my niece my goddaughter carl uh, Jeffrey, Lisa, everybody who, who tuned in this morning. Thank you. Love you guys. Until next time, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Check me out on the laws of attraction in action.com. The book of the month for August is um, something about your power. Use your power. Use your power to be great. Um, so check that out on the website. It's on the book of the month club. I got to go. Peace and love. Oh, Jen. Love you, darling. Peace and love. I'm out. Bye.